Hey everybody, let's start this video off with a game of rock, paper, scissors, shall we? Are you ready? One, two, oh, X beats everything. Sorry guys. Hey everybody, it is Jeff Aromatics. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video I've been meaning to do for a while, and that is a re-review of the Freehand Corn Cob. Now I did a review of this way back when I first started my channel and it was pretty crappy. So I know a lot of people out there are interested in these pipes. It's one of my favorites and I figured I'd do a re-review of it. Something a, a little bit better, a little bit uh, an updated video. So the very first time, um, well how I found th this pipe back in the day is when I first started smoking I really liked the plateau style of briar pipes and they were a little bit out of my price range at the time and I came across this either from a video or maybe I just came across on a picture somewhere online but the very first time I saw it I knew I had to have one. So it is a corn cob, very large, it's got the plateau top. Now this one is the plastered version with the fancy bit. I also have a couple more, but the other one I brought out is the other style you can get, and that is the Naked Freehand. And this one has a acrylic stem, so it's a lot more durable. This one, um, you can probably chew through it, which I think I already have chewed through one stem already, especially since this one's fairly heavy, very hard, pretty hard to clench. You can, but it'll if you do, it'll it'll wear the bit out. This one acrylic and, and a lot lighter. The naked one is a lot lighter so easier to clench for, for sure. We'll talk about the weight of them uh, in a little bit. So um, the thing that I like about it is uh, the number one aspect is probably the fact that it well besides that I think it looks cool is that it it smokes it's probably the best smoking pipe that I have in the way that once you get it lit it just seems to smoke itself. It just doesn't want to go out. Now one thing a lot of people are afraid of is the fact that it's so big and that, you know, a I've heard people say I don't smoke, you know, the people that do have them say they don't smoke them very often because they don't have time to smoke that much tobacco. But I don't think I've ever actually filled it from all the way from the bottom to the top. What I normally do is I use a pocket method of packing, which I'm going to do a video on that later and I put it up on my channel because I think it's a pretty good way, to, uh, an advanced method to pack any style of pipe and I think it's got its advantages but we'll talk about that in another video. So actually if you pack it properly you, it's an average smoke. I get probably half an hour to 45 minutes with the pocket pet method of, of packing as well as that that method makes it smoke even better. You know it just uh, it's just a really good way to uh, to pack a pipe. Um, so I uh, really like the look of it, like the, um, this one right here particularly is the, the plastered one is the one I use for English blends and cigar blends. Actually I can taste the ghost of that, of some Latakia in there, you can tell I've been smoking uh, the heavier stuff in this one. The other one I will use for Virginias and um, my other one I'll use for aromatics, but even with Virginia flakes you can just fold and stuff it. Just same way you just you know fold it so it just kind of jams in there about that far you can't see but it is conical in there so it, it kind of it, it the same shape on the outside it's basically the the drilling on the inside so if you pock you know if you have a flake in there it just fits in there nice and it packs nice smokes really well um, the I like everything about it there's just one downfall and it's a major one and that is the weight of it. So when you're smoking it you pretty much have to hold on to it. So as long as you don't mind holding on your pipe, um, say you're watching a movie or, you, or you're not doing anything else, maybe reading a book would, would work, uh, just remember you probably have to hold it. It is clenchable but that's probably the one of the biggest downfalls. I would smoke it a lot more if it wasn't for the fact that I like to clench. I, I'm usually doing something else, um, like I'm um, using an electronic device, so I'm, I usually need both my hands for uh, a lot of the time. Another advantage to these pipes, especially, I'm sure both of them, but especially the plastered one, is that the walls are just super thick. So you get a, a really cool smoke, especially, not just because the walls are thick, but because of the way, if you pocket, pack it, um, if you pack it with the pocket method, you've got a lot of airspace in there for in the chamber for the smoke to cool as long as, as well as you got a, quite a bit of distance for the smoke to travel as well as both of them are, you can filter them. So you got a cool smoke and you got a dry smoke 
and you also got a very durable pipe. I imagine these pipes will probably last forever, minus the stems, unless you get an acrylic one. So yeah, that's the freehand pipe. So have any of, do any of you guys have them and what do you think of them? Uh, and uh, how long of a smoke do you get and have you ever just done a pack, uh, pocket um, method of packing? Let me know in the comments below. So hope you guys enjoyed my review and I'll see you on my next one. Till then, Aromatics, signing out.